All right, uh, so going to go ahead and chat about uh, the Tiger Mountain race, uh, my results at that, and also get into a bike check on this video. Uh, so as far as Tiger goes, it uh, ended up being kind of a slop fest like last year. We had dry conditions leading up, and the day before it started raining, day of it rained, uh, so I did not film uh, the race just uh, in the conditions would just be too hard to do. Um, so for results, I'll go ahead and put some of this stuff up on the screen. Uh, ended up placing sixth out of 44 riders in my class. Um, just under three seconds from being on a podium. Um, unfortunately made some pretty big mistakes in stage one. Uh, and also just kind of didn't think I was doing that great. So there was definitely times I probably could have pushed harder um, and should have. So just kind of a reminder there uh, to myself. Um, but uh, yeah, it was uh, still a fun race despite the conditions. And um, looking forward to the next race coming up, which is going to be at Galbraith. Um, now let's go ahead and get into the bike check. Now on to uh, the bike check. So someone may or may not have noticed that I was on a different colored frame uh, in the last videos and uh, that was because I ended up having <coughs> a warranty done on the frame. Had some hairline kind of cracks showing up uh, where the headset cup is. Specialized was great. They went ahead and warrantied it. And I ended up with this uh, black S-Works frame. So let's uh, go ahead and get into the bike check. Uh, so for the drivetrain, running XO trigger, XO derailleur, XX1 uh, 1052 cassette, XX1 chain, and a 28 tooth chain ring uh there's just so many kind of punchy climbs around here it just makes more sense to have 28 tooth um i ended up going from a 1050 to a 1052 cassette got the e-wing uh tie cranks from cane creek and then for a pedal i'm running the crank brothers uh malady all right now on to suspension i am running the Fox 38 at 180 mil of travel. I have the Olin's TTX with a 480 pound spring and the Cascade Link uh, with some little better bolts, tie bolts kind of sprinkled in there. Um, running the Fox transfer dropper and then I've got the uh, Ergon SM Pro saddle on there for the uh, cockpit. I've got uh, the i9 uh, stem running the Wolf Tooth drop lever. Uh, I've tried a few other grips this year, but I'm just going to stick to the ODI Elite Pro. Um, it's kind of been the go to for a while now. And uh, I got the one up. Uh, carbon bars at a 35 mil rise for the wheels and tires I got the we are one Union rims uh, laced up to i9 Hydra hubs Only thing I'm not stoked on is just kind of bearing life on these these uh, hubs has been a little poorer than I would expect um, and then for tires, I'm running the DHR uh, on the back at a 2.4 wide and a max terra compound just because it rolls a little faster, doesn't wear as quick. And then I've got the Asagai on the front at a 2.5 uh, with the max grip compound. Both are EXO Plus casings. Uh, I'm a lighter guy, so I've, I've had zero issues um, with punctures with these uh, kind of knock on wood with that. All right, for the brakes, I'm running the Hope Tech 4 lever. 
the Hope V4 caliper uh, with a North Shore billet adapter, Hope rotor front and rear at 203 mil, and uh, I'm running the MTX uh, red label uh, ceramic pad. Can't say enough good things about the brakes. Um, previously, I was running the uh, the Tech Threes E Fours, and uh, I just wanted a little more power, so I ended up with the Vs. And the improvement on the levers is is amazing. Like plenty of power, able to keep them pretty close to the bar, and uh, you know the modulation is just excellent on them. Then, uh, as far as just kind of random bits, I got the Wolf Tooth headset. Got the One Up uh, Bash and Chain guide on there. So far, so good. Uh, as far as the bike this season, took a while to get everything kind of dialed with the suspension, but it's been feeling good. Uh, it's the 2023 Specialized Enduro. Um, again, this is the new frame, and when this came in, I decided to uh, get some custom decals from NL Designs. It's kind of hard to tell with the light, but there's kind of some metallic in there. And they also did the, uh, the fork decal as well. Well, that is what I am riding this season. Keep an eye out for more videos. Thank you.